Oh, we're going to start the show uh, with getting my inner artiste out today because I am joined by Dr. Karen Dover, who is a fabulous artist, a brand new exhibition um, with not just herself, but she's got some special guests coming up as well in her latest exhibition. Karen joining me here on the show. How are you, Karen? I'm very good. I know. Should you. I have this like in my teeth? Like you Absolutely. got me outfitted and, and ready oh, yeah. to roll here. Absolutely. <laughs> I want to start, first of all, talk a little bit about your background because mm -hmm. obviously introduced you as Dr. Karen mm -hmm. Dover. You're not just an artist, but yeah. Your your other passion in life, there, there is a connection to yeah. the two, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm a laser and cosmetic physician, and uh, I have a clinic that has been very busy for the last 20 years or so, but I've always done art, so, and I've done surgery as well. Right. So the, they all inform one another, and as each area grows, they you know, essentially have conversations. So, so sometimes the body is your palette and sometimes canvas is exactly. your palette, right? And then, but my, my faces are my palette. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So um, when did you start in, in you know, in in painting? Art, I think I've been doing it forever. I've okay. always done creative things. You know, at some point I had a lot of children, and that was certainly creative. Yeah. I did some, <laughs> uh, you know, renovations of old stone houses. Mm -hmm. um, there's always been something. So when my kids were younger, it was big, fat birthday parties that were spectacularly fun. Nice. Uh, but I always did ceramics. I created with paints and, and did a lot of photography from the late 80s quite uh, intensively right but all of these art forms come together with painting yeah so uh, that's your main medium what, what what type of paints do you do you work with these I tend days? to use acrylics and mixed media just not oils because I tend to be very sensitive to the okay. solvent okay. so that's how I ended up into this and actually it was at a period when my father wasn't well that this was the most immediate form that I could work with and clean up very quickly whereas ceramics is much more right. time consuming and involved and photography I was long gone across the planet so uh, it's just about circumstances and this does seem to use a lot of the techniques that I've learned in photography and explored elsewhere so you'll see with some of the artwork uh, yeah, the textures yeah. that we use and the forms that we use in ceramics those techniques come through um, it's called uh, Karen Dover and Company your yeah. latest exhibition so where's yeah. the and company you have some special guests that yeah. are joining you so I had had a show I, and it was Karen Dover modern art show last April just as uh, COVID was easing a bit and okay. we had this tiny window and we jumped in to have that show that was enormously successful the celebration was extraordinary so in the preliminary phase of uh, you know designing a new one I had an idea to bring some friends who struggle not because of their art but just by nature of the scope of what they do okay and um, you know the Chaka has some very large um, stone pieces that are spectacular and Jack does work with these repurposed steel okay and those are also you know large and I have quite a few of their pieces that I have in my gardens and oh, uh, nice. and I just nice. I see the conversations that happen with my work and theirs and they enhance one another quite quite significantly. So there's a lot of synergy. Right, and, right. Uh, and so I just thought, why not? I asked them to come. And then a friend of mine was just publishing another book. And so she's coming to do some work. And I have my yoga specialist, who is a great ceremonialist, who will come and do a cacao ceremony. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, this so is there's so a cool. Lot going on. So Jana will be doing readings. Okay. We have an artist talk um, when we have the cacao ceremony when uh, we will be honoring the new moon. And okay. so we'll be talking about the blank canvas that we all deal with emotionally and right. socially at the beginning of the year, but we're talking about the blank canvas for each of the artists. So Jen will be speaking about the blank page. I'm in the white canvas. Chaka is, you know, that big chunk of stone that he sees yeah. in Zimbabwe. And Jack uh, has tables of what would normally be considered junk that he turns into magic. I, I, and I when, just love when it. you see this, I mean, it, we put it together the last three days. It's amazing. Well, you've mentioned blank canvas a couple of times yeah, you brought one go. along are we going to yeah. paint together we are okay. and have you ever painted before i haven't i okay. know uh, i shouldn't say okay. that so last christmas we all did uh, gnomes together oh, for christmas on these little cute. these little canvases yeah. yeah so this is about what you, when you were four you were four once yes yeah okay yeah, so I was. and you were probably with, some might say i still have yeah. that mindset jewel yeah. don't say a word my Not floor director over there the is killing herself child. laughing so, so why are you spraying it i'm spraying it just to make it easier for you okay okay just to get things moving so I want you to go back to when you were about four. Okay. And 
nobody told you what you had to do. You were allowed to do Wasn't whatever. Wasn't that so yeah, nice? Yeah, that's what this is about. There okay. are no rules. You cannot go wrong. All right. You can do anything you want, and there are no colors that don't go together. And, and that it, do. I just, and you can I just do start, whatever you want. Start you can just going. Okay. Do whatever you want. And All this right. is going to be our underpainting. And I will well, say what does that that, mean? that means this is our first layer, okay. and you just go wild. You can switch to another okay. piece. Okay. Another, right. uh, so, what do you rug. think? Do you get into like a zone yeah, and when in fact, you I start really doing? I really to have some music because usually we put on music. The maestro. Yeah, that's get it. Some, I, I don't know if we have music. I'm maestro. just yeah. I don't know. We just don't have well, the budget for it. I guess. There you Karen. go. Okay, I don't know so what you could hum. Do you I, sing at times? I do. Well, go yeah, ahead. I think not. <laughs> It's more fun to hear you talk. Well, so maybe you we can, can get the yeah. crew in here we humming a little they something. Can sing something. Yeah. So you can put on your favorite music and you can do pretty okay. much anything you want. I'm going to give you any color and everything. Okay. And <clears throat> you can go nuts on that. And now sometimes you just sort of switch out the. Right. If you have that so brush, I, I you can dip just my brush it. in. Yeah. Okay. And I will say you're going to get camera yeah, we're right. going off camera. Oh, I love this blue. Yeah, blue so this fun. This is gorgeous. So just see what happens. All right. All right. Because there are no rules. Uh, in any way, oh, look at you filling in holes. So now you're painting within the lines. Now, do you want to paint outside the lines? Sure. Yeah, go for it. Of course I do. Okay. Yeah. And I've got paint all over me. This is good. Well, I mean, yeah. isn't that, and, that, that's, and that's the nice thing starts. about having a space, right? Yeah. Is that you don't have to, as you're saying, with ceramic, you had to put the, everything away all the time. Yeah. Whereas this, you can you can keep out. And yeah. I think that's a struggle for a lot it's of artists, really isn't it? Struggle. If you don't have a specific yeah. space to work yeah. in. Well, often I would hear people did their ceramics between the kitchen and the garage, you know, in that little yeah. alleyway. Right. And with ceramics, a lot of it is prep and clean up, which I'm not, you know, I don't love. And if you have to suddenly run to go and see someone in the hospital, this goes into a bucket and boom, you're right, right the you're, you're good to go. The other thing that's super fun is you leave it, I'll often paint, and then I'll literally walk out, but then I, as I come by, I know immediately what I need to do. I'll go in off for really, five eh? minutes and keep going. That is so cool. So a lot of it happens on the fly. You've got a, a really neat venue as well we that in, in Almond. Tell me about the tell me about the venue. Well, the venue is gorgeous. It's Mississippi Valley Textile Museum, which is a heritage building. It's one of I think two in Canada. From yeah, go for it. Yeah, maybe you go for yeah. Yeah. And see how I'm using the spatula to pull and scrape, and oh. then you see. What what happens out here? I will talk about the venue. But you see what happens when I pull? You're getting the red beneath oh, it. Oh yeah. So that's how you get these really fun layers. Look at I mean, that. we could play all day. Oh, right? for sure. Yeah. Uh, we've got about uh, 60 seconds left okay. here. So tell me about so the venue the and, uh, and the times. Quite, yeah, Heritage Museum. It's an old mill that's been exquisitely renovated, but all of the exposed walls are there, and uh, so it's an incredible backdrop for. This is very modern art. My pieces are, you know, yeah, they're five gigantic, by five, gigantic. Right? Yeah. Um, and some are smaller. We have everything from probably 12 by 16 right up to 6 by 8. Okay. So full scope, a lot of the metal pieces and stone are right. bigger. But it's, uh, you know, that, that gorgeous old with the contemporary, that very abstract modern stuff. Uh, kicks contrast. off January 20th, right? The Vernissage. Tomorrow and right. RSVP for tomorrow night. There'll be a band coming from Toronto. A nice. Group, like, lovely. Are you going, how much do you think my painting here, uh, our painting will fetch? Oh, I'm going to say four grand. About $4,000. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's so we'll uh, that's what I had in year. mind as well. Don't you yeah. think? Maybe Karen, 42. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> we'll be back with more daytime after this. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, I hope everyone comes.